In the heart of the ancient Near East, a mysterious people known as the Kassites emerged, their presence lingering in the annals of history from approximately 1531 BC to 1155 BC, as per the short chronology. They entered the stage of Babylonia's history following the Hittite invasion of Babylon in 1531 BC, establishing a dynasty believed to have initially taken root in this great city. As time flowed on, the Kassites shifted their seat of power to the newly founded city of Der Kurgaltsu. By the time Babylon fell, the Kassites had dwelled in the region for a century and a half, sometimes aligning with Babylon's interests and at other times opposing them. The origins and characteristics of the Kassite language remain shrouded in uncertainty, much like the Sumerian and Hurrian languages. Speculation abounds, with some even connecting it to Sanskrit. The Kassite religion is equally enigmatic, with only a glimpse into the names of a few deities. Among these, Shukamuna and Shamorlia held prominence as the chief gods, revered by the kings. However, as was often the case in this region, religious beliefs intermingled. When Babylon fell under Kassit dominion, its city god, Marduk, became incorporated into the Kassit pantheon. Our understanding of the Kassit era relies heavily on the discovery of scattered tablets and fragments in places like Nippur. These relics encompass administrative records, legal documents, letters, seal inscriptions, private votive inscriptions, and even a literary text, possibly a fragment of a historical epic. Regrettably, many of these tablets remain unpublished, including numerous held in the Ottoman Museum in Istanbul. Around 100 Kassit tablets were unearthed at Der Kurgaltsu, while inscribed building materials from the era of Kurgaltsu I were discovered at Kish. Additional tablets from the reign of Agam III were found at Kalot al-Bahrain, a Dilman site. In total, over 12,000 documents from the Kassit period have been recovered, with only about 10% seeing publication. Building inscriptions, often penned in Sumerian rather than the typical Kassit Akkadian, add another layer to this historical puzzle. Seals and Qudurus, stone steles used to record land grants and related documents, offer further glimpses into Kassit history. The ancient city of Nippur held particular importance for the Kassites, who embarked on extensive renovations of religious and administrative structures. This began during the reign of Kurgaltsu I and continued under Kadashman Enlil, Kudur Enlil, and Shagrati Shariash, with later rulers overseeing repair work. Other significant centers during the Kassid epoch included Lhasa, Sippa, Susa, and Ur, with notable activity taking place at the latter. The city of Isin, once abandoned, witnessed substantial rebuilding work during the Kassid era, initiated by Kurgaltsu I and continued by subsequent rulers. Even after the Kassid dynasty's fall in 1155 BC, the system of provincial administration persisted, ensuring the country's unity under the rule of the second dynasty of Isin. Though these ancient people left many questions unanswered, the Kassites' legacy endures in the fragments of their civilization that have surfaced through the sands of time. In the sands of ancient Mesopotamia, where history often fades into the hazy realms of conjecture, a people known as the Kassites emerged. Their origins remain shrouded in mystery, with theories abounding. Some Kassite names appear in economic records from the Earth III period, around 2112 to 2004 BC, in southern Babylon, but their precise origin remains elusive. The Kassites first came to Babylon's attention in the 18th century BC, primarily around the area of Sippa. During the reign of King Samsu I Luna, 1749-1712 BC, of Babylon, their presence was noted. The ninth year of his rule commemorates his victory over the Kassid army, a pivotal moment in their history. As the Babylonian Empire started to wane, the Kassites became an integral part of the region. They even supplied troops to Babylon in times of need. Amid these tumultuous times, the Hittites seized the idol of the god Marduk, but the Kassid rulers managed to reclaim it returning Marduk to Babylon and elevating him to equal status with the Kassit god Shakamuna. Under Kassit rule, Babylon regained its political and military prominence in Mesopotamia. The Late Bronze Age brought a complex power structure to the region. The fall of the First Sealand dynasty in 1460 BC created a void that the Kassites filled. The rise of Assyria and the Hittites, along with Elam from the east and Egypt from the south, formed a three-way power dynamic. The Amarna letters, a treasure trove of correspondence, reveal diplomatic exchanges between rulers of this era, 
including 14 letters exchanged between the pharaoh and the Kassite ruler. An intricate international system emerged, intertwining these powers through trade, treaties, and even intermarriage among the ruling classes. Significant treaties included the Egyptian Hittite Peace Treaty around 1259 BC and an accord between Kassite ruler Karendash and the Assyrian ruler Ashabel Nishu circa 1410 BC. At the zenith of their power, during the reign of Kurgeltsu I in the mid-14th century BC, the Kassites conquered Elam and sacked Susa, its capital. This ruler embarked on monumental building projects in Ur and other southern Mesopotamian cities, most notably Der Kurgeltsu. This new city boasted splendid palaces and temples dedicated to Babylonian deities, including Enlil, Ninlil, and Nanata. The Kassites expanded their influence into the Persian Gulf, including the strategic site of Kalot al-Bahrain. However, their proximity to the rising Assyrian power led to political and military conflicts over the centuries. At one point, Assyria briefly gained the upper hand until the Elamites, under Kidin Hutran III, intervened. This period saw a hiatus in Babylon's construction activity, echoing the aftermath of the first Babylonian dynasty's fall. Ultimately, the Kassite state met its end in the 12th century BC when the Elamites of the Shatrukid dynasty conquered Babylonia, carrying away the statue of Marduk. The last Kassite king, Enlil Nadin I, was reportedly taken to Susa in 1155 BC, where he met his demise. In the annals of the Assyrian king Sennacherib, a campaign against the land of the Kassites in 702 BC marked a final chapter in their history. The Kassites took refuge in the mountains but were eventually resettled by the Assyrians. They became part of the Arafa district, their once great civilization relegated to the pages of history.